Hey guys, it's Kiralee and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a Costco vlog and haul. Today's Sunday and we're heading off to Costco today to get some groceries. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you what I like to get when I go to Costco and some of the health foods and healthy baking items that I get. But after we get home from Costco and have all the things, I thought I'd do a little haul and show you guys the things that I get. And yeah, just take you around with us when we're there. We've only recently started going to Costco last year. It's actually really great. I definitely recommend going to Costco if you have one near you. You can definitely get cheaper versions of foods and yeah it can be really cost effective and obviously you can buy in bulk so you can stock up and don't have to go to the grocery shops as much but i do hope you enjoy watching this video and let's head to costco we're at costco just got here it's very busy oh it's, <laughs> it's a bit breezy let's make some goodies okay let's sample sample yeah we're here for the samples let's be honest. Do you want, is it the dry roasted ones we get? Do you want them or not? Oyster sauce. It's, it's so busy in here. Do we need rice? Okay, we need tuna. I really want to try the cake. Should we get Kodiak cakes? I want to try them. Where we get all our cooking stuff from? Like agave and almond flour and stuff like that. Okay. Bye, Thank you. This is the product. Got us some frozen berries. The, the next time, sir, please. Thanks. Be Thank you. Is the only down here? No. Hey, we sometimes get these, but. These are a great snack. Thank you, the lady. That this is all our stuff. <laughs> home, on the way home snacks. That was so busy. There were people everywhere, but we got through. We vlogged in public, and we're gonna actually post it this time. And some of the stuff that we get, we already had, so we didn't have to get it. And some of the stuff. Um, wasn't there that we usually get, like almond milk. Couldn't get almond milk, and people were looking at me. People were looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> There's like a fan. Oh my god, that is so funny. I got that on camera. Just act confident. What does Sarah say? Act confident, and no one will question you. Did you do that? No. No, I didn't act confident, but I did vlog something. So you know what? That's oh. we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's pack this in the car and go home. So we're home from Costco now and I'm going to do a haul of the things that we got. Obviously I'm not going to include everything like the washing stuff and like things like that that aren't really related to what we eat or anything. So I'm just going to include the things that I eat. So first I'm going to start with the cold things so then we can put them away and then we'll get on to all the other stuff. The first things we got from the freezer section, we have these edamame beans. Also get frozen berries, so blueberries and raspberries. I'm sure if you've seen any of my videos, you know I love frozen berries. I literally have them for dessert all the time, or I have them in smoothies. And we also have some Shibani Greek yogurt. We get two of these because the use by date is quite a while, so they don't go out of date. And it's a lot cheaper. It's only $6 for this one, I think it's one kilo, two kilos. $6 for this two kilo tub, so that is super cheap. Some coriander pesto dip. I also really like this, it's great. I like to add it into salads, have it on rice cakes and stuff like that, or just with some crackers. We also have some cauliflower rice. Um, this is great if you like making like cauliflower pizzas or you can just like put it in a salad or stir fry or something and it's ready in 90 seconds, so that's great. And we also have some firm tofu. We get two packs of this again because most of the things we buy in bulk, so like we'll get more than one thing. So yeah, just some tofu. And finally, from the cold section, we have some frozen veggies. This is just great to have in the freezer and just get out, make a stir fry or whatever, whenever you need them. So yeah, super quick for dinners and lunches. Yeah, that is all the cold stuff. Okay, now we're going to do the pantry stuff that we got. To start with, we got some almonds, some pistachios, some cashews. The nuts and like dried fruit and stuff at Costco is really cheap. And that's where we get like all of our stuff for baking and things like that. And then along with baking, we also get almond flour from there. This is so much cheaper than anywhere else. Like, like 
$11 for this whole bag, so that's really good. Next, we also have this cacao powder, and this was only $16 for this massive bag. This is 1.5 kilos. I use this in a lot of cooking, and also I like to put it into my smoothies, so yes. Okay, next thing we have are these crackers. They are whole grain crackers, and I like having these just as a snack with some dip or some like cut up veggies and stuff. And they've got great ingredients. They just pretty much got brown rice, whole grains, quinoa, flax seeds, sesame seeds. Pretty much it, really. So great snack. And then we also open these in the car. But these are just these mushroom things. They're kind of random, but they're really, really good. So if you go to Costco, definitely get these. I don't know why, but they're really, really nice. Next thing we got is this mixed nut butter. They, I couldn't find any natural peanut butter, so this is like, I guess, another spread or alternative to peanut butter. But I really like this. It's definitely growing on me a lot, and yeah, it's quite nice. And we also have some honey, big squirty thing of honey. And I, don't know, I like the honeys that have the lids so they don't make a mess everywhere. So yeah, that's good. Some agave syrup. I use this in baking a lot. Some soy sauce. This is a really big thing of soy sauce but obviously yeah I just put this in like stir fries and stuff like that. How about sushi? They don't really make sushi that often. <laughs> you know. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. <laughs> I don't know much to say about that. <laughs> when you can't be bothered to squeeze your own yeah, lemons. Yeah when you can't be bothered to squeeze your own lemons just get lemon juice. A side of vinegar. I use this in salad dressings but usually Kate behind the camera she uses this. More than me, she can literally just drink it and doesn't even care. Weirdo. <laughs> it's pasta spirals. This is 100% wheat pasta. It was a dollar. This was only a dollar, so we got three packets of this. Uh, I'm kind of doing this in a weird order, I'm sorry, but I should group it together a bit better. <laughs> now we've got some wheat mix. I love wheat mix and I've recently been cooking with them a lot more like in the basis of my raw desserts and just like muesli bars and stuff. These are great to cook with. So yeah, definitely if you haven't already, definitely try cooking with wheat mix because they work really well. So the next thing we have is some organic coconut cream. I like this one because you can leave it in the cupboard and it will be solid. I find with some of them, they're liquid and you have to put it in the fridge, but when you need it for cooking, it's already solid. So that's great and you don't have to remember to put it in the fridge or anything. So yeah, I really like this one. And I feel like it tastes different. I don't know. It's really good. It tastes really nice. Um, diced tomatoes. This is like 12 tins. These are just great for like pastas and it's super cheap to get, yeah, 12 of them. And our final thing, a kilo of baby spinach. I love spinach. I put this literally in smoothies, salads, literally anything. Baby spinach is the best. And yeah, it's a massive, massive tub. I'm pretty sure this is like $6 or something. Yeah. $6 for one kilo. Now that is a bargain at Woolies. I think those bags are like $5. Like a bag that big. So literally this such a deal. Okay, so that haul wasn't everything we usually get. It was just the things we got this time. Some things I also like to get from Costco are chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, almond milk, quinoa, and oats. Um, we don't really get fruit or veggies from there. We get we usually get them from the fruit and veggie shop. Yeah, usually we get some other snacks and stuff, but lately we've been making a lot of our own snacks, so we don't really need to buy them. Oh, sometimes we get these popcorn chip things, which are really nice. I'll show you. They're actually in the cupboard. Sometimes we get these popcorners chips, but we have quite a lot left from our last trip, so we didn't need to get them this time. This is just what we got on this Costco trip. Okay, so that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you do like these sort of videos, be sure to let me know and I'll definitely do more food hauls in the future. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!